We're going to construct the center of a circle with a compass and straight edge. We're at 12.4c. So let's say we're given a circle that doesn't have a center point, or we can use something to trace to draw a circle. We draw a chord AB along one of the sides, and we don't want to make that chord too big because then it'll be hard to do what we're trying to do. Once we've drawn that chord, we can extend its line out beyond the circle, and we can construct a line perpendicular to chord AB at B. We put the compass point on B, we put this tip on B, and we make an arc above and below B. So we're going to make this a little smaller. We're going to put the point on B, and we're going to make a little arc. We're going to flip it around this way. With the same setting, we're going to make another little arc. And from those intersections, we're going to open the compass up a little bit, put our point here, and then we're going to make an arc. And then we're going to put our point here, same setting as when we had the point here, okay? And we're going to make another little arc so that we make an intersection here. So remember, we started with the point on B, and we made an arc, and we made another arc with the same setting. Then, from these intersections, we made an arc and an arc. And we draw a line through B, through that intersection, all the way through the circle end here. See? We draw a line through B and that intersection, that crisscross X. We label that point C, where the line and circle intersect. And the third thing we do is take our straight edge and draw chord AC. So now we have this inscribed triangle. The fourth thing we're going to do is repeat steps 1, 2, and 3 to draw chords DE and DF. So we have two inscribed right triangles. So we're just going to draw another small chord of any size. We can do it along here. We're going to construct a line perpendicular to that chord. We put our compass on E. We draw a little arc. Same setting, we draw another little arc going this way. And then from those intersections, we draw an arc and an arc. And through E, through that intersection, we draw that line. Now we have EF, don't we? We label this F. Then we draw chord DF. And the intersection of our green chord AC and our purple chord DF is the center of the circle. We now know that that point where these two segments intersect, these two chords intersect, is the exact center of the circle. For our next lesson, we're going to need our compass and protractor as a straight edge again because we're going to construct a tangent to a circle from an exterior point in 12.4d. So we constructed the center of a circle with a compass and straight edge by actually making two right triangles that were inscribed in the circle. And where they met, right here, is our center. You can try it on your own now. I hope you're doing well, and I hope your day is good, and I'll see you for our next lesson. Bye.